Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, I'm just in the middle of doing a, like a, my, my normal winter bike strip down, as you can see, no wheels on it, and um, I've been doing loads of little bits on the on the engine and what have you. But uh, one of the things that I've reason I've got the wheels off is uh, I've had some new tyres fitted and uh, I've had some Pirellis put on, and. I was looking through a Facebook page quite recently and um, I noticed somebody else, similar bike to mine, I think it was a Speed Triple, and they'd actually painted the um, logos on the on the tyre. And I was, I was, first of all, I was like, oh, yeah, it's a bit naff. <laughs> uh, but then actually it sort of like grew on me, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to actually give it a go. So um, I've uh, got the tyre here already and uh, I bought a pen off of Amazon, can't remember how much it was, £3, £5, something like that, I'll put a link in the uh, description below. Um, uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show you um, what it's like, I'm going to show you how I do it I'm on the wheel, I've already actually done the front wheel and I think it looks okay, so um, I'm just going to show you quickly how I do it um, with a couple of little uh, things that I learnt along the way with doing the front wheel. and. Uh, See what you think. So um, let's get on with it. So now hopefully you can see that. So first things first, put my glasses on. So what you can see here is we've got the uh, the Pirelli logo. Now you just give the little pen a little shake for a few seconds, and. What it is, quite luckily, the, like the, the logos are all raised, parts of rubber. So, uh, and to be honest with you, it, it takes a good few coats to do, but um, it's, it's not too bad. Now, one of the things that I learned was, um, if you do go over the edges, to not try and get it off with a, a cloth or anything. Best thing is, is to use just like a little um, little screwdriver like this with a, with a flat blade and um, you can literally just uh, scrape it off. So, um, so now I'm left-handed, um, um, so ideally all left-handed people will, will learn this, that you can't go like this because by the time you get to here then you're smudging it here. So if you're right-handed you might want to start at that end and work your way back, but obviously I'm left-handed so I'm going to work this way and backwards. So. Um, so all you do is, is I'll just see if I can focus the tip on there. It's, it's sort of like a chisel edge. So all we're doing is we're just trying to keep that flat bit on the actual bit there. Because if I start doing it with the point, that's when I'm going to go over the edges. So. So it does need a few coats to do it, but actually, do you know what? It's easier on the on the back wheel because the front wheel is quite a bit smaller. You can see, just take your time. Pirelli bit, the Diablo and the Rosso, 
So, um, and the Diablo bit is actually quite, it's quite easy. <laughs> style. <coughs> Here's one that I did earlier. So um, as you can see, you know, it it actually doesn't look too bad. These ones have had a couple of coats on them so uh, but I don't know how long they last or what but um, I think it actually looks quite cool so and then obviously done the other side so so I'll get that all in one picture, there you go. So, it'll probably look quite nice. So, yeah, anyway, I just thought you might find that of interest. So, Um, yeah, so I just thought you, you, you might find that of interest, so um, and at the end of the day, if it don't look any good then, uh, or I'm not happy with it, uh, it'd be quite easy to just get a little bit of sandpaper and just uh, just rub them off, so uh, I'm not too worried, but um, I quite like it, so uh, we'll see how we go. But <coughs> anyway, thanks for watching, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do, uh, I've got a few good things coming up, I'm doing, uh, as part of my bike, strip down and rebuild I'm going to do cleaning a K&N filter so I've got the kit for, for cleaning all that out so I'll make a quick video on that I've got to bleed the front brakes uh, change the coolant and I'm going to be taking all the gear linkages off as well and putting all those back on to give it the front sprocket a bit of a clean and then maybe I'll do a video of putting it on, the thing all back together again so um, but anyway thanks for watching catch you next time cheers